always enjoyed helping people <clears throat> so as I got more involved in this I actually have started coaching people about how to create personal change so now I do two things I'm a real estate agent full-time I'm a licensed broker in the state of Texas and I am very actively involved full-time engaging people in real estate I enjoy that part a great deal I also work with people that are looking how to change their lives how to stop stumbling over their own thoughts and move forward and I have some very dynamic tools I help people with doing that. It's like I have this dual thing. Of course, most people know I'm a split personality, so I'm able to do both very well, move from one to the other. Uh, but that's sort of what I'm doing at this point. I know you only got one question in so far. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what other questions do you have? Well, you already <laughs> filled up most of what I would normally ask. So what's new in your world right now? Well, uh, the new things in real estate is the broker's license. Yeah, yeah which is, I here. mean, that was what, so, two weeks ago? Yep. Okay. And so I did that. I still stay with the brokerage I'm with, but I'm probably going to be starting a property management piece to what nice. I do. Yeah. Uh, and then we're looking at growing our team a little more because we have uh, a couple people on the team now. We need a few more people. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking at that piece very hard. And then the other thing I'm doing is I'm offering some coaching and some classes for people to help them create change in their lives. And um, that piece I'm beginning to charge some money for, and I'm seeing some very interesting results. It's very, very much fun to do. Uh, so I have a class called Tools for Transformation, for example, that I teach actually right here at T-Works. In this very room, In by the way. In this very room. <laughs> and I tell you, no, that, and and it, the, the, the fee for the class is about $150. It includes lunch and dinner. It's a one-day, uh, long-day class. I won't tell you how long you have to come and see. But, and then in real estate, <clears throat> I work with people on how to get the most money for their house. We actually really do that. I was looking at a presentation the other day from a realtor. She had left at a house I was buying, and we, she had suggested they price their house 15%, one five, 15% under the market value so they would get multiple offers. Mm. We bought it for 15% under the market value. <laughs> With my client and I did, and I actually know to carry her listings around because we can usually buy them cheaper. Yes. And so, follow her around and you're good. So yeah. if you want somebody to go price your house at the market and get what you should be getting for it, that's mm -hmm. me. If you want some people that will get you to price it under market so they can sell it quickly, I can introduce you to them. Mm -hmm. I won't mention the names here. So <laughs> it depends on what you want for your house. So I take a lot of pride in, in so doing what I do very well, representing my clients very well. And, and being most direct about getting to the end that my client wants to achieve, whether they're buyers or sellers. And I do the same thing when I'm coaching. I very, very much take it very seriously that I'm going to deliver a result. Do I do it without humor? No, I often do it with humor. In fact, I offered to be uh, a woman representing the ugly woman groups, ugly women of America. I was going to put a, a scarf on and be, a, be an ugly woman for the day. But Jeff didn't think that was the right approach for this, this video. <laughs> so, it was, I'm Jack Stanley. Or I, would never put, I would never put my foot on the throat of Jack Stanley and stop him from doing that. No, that would never happen. Nor would I ever be able to if I had. So, um, all right, Jack, last five yeah, questions now. Yeah. You wake up in the morning, mm -hmm. your business is gone. Mm -hmm. 500 bucks in your pocket, mm -hmm. laptop, computer, place to live. What do you do first? Well, first thing I'm going to do is some incantations. And no, I'm not a witch. Okay. <laughs> okay. I, I have to go through some things and change my physiology. I would shake my body out. I would make some power moves. I would get my body flowing. And then I would say some things like, I am the voice. I will lead, not follow. I will leave, not doubt. I'll create, not destroy. I am a force for good. I am a force for God. I'm a leader. I defy the odds. I set a new standard and I step up. It's something I learned from Tony Robbins and it really can move you forward. So first I get my mind in the right state. And then I can do lots of things. I used to be, I grew up as a plumber, son, I know plumbing, heating, and cooling. I can do photography, I can do coaching, I can mow lawns. So far, nothing's worn out where I can't. I can um, 
uh, uh, no business, I know management, so I would say, okay, which one of these things is hiring? And I would go out and find something to do. If not, I would create something. In every environment, I believe there's an answer that you can go create some income. It may not be an easy answer, it may be a tough environment to create it, but there's opportunities. Even during the Depression, there were people who became millionaires and multimillionaires even during the Depression of the 1930s. So I think there's opportunity. I would have to go find the opportunity. First thing though, first thing is get my mind, my body, and my heart in the right place. So Jack, thank you, thank you. as always my friend. Um, guys, <clears throat> this is one of the best real estate agents you're gonna meet. He is the most caring person I've ever met. Thanks again, we'll see you here next week.